Okay, now we're going to look at the psychiatric blueprint for the NCCB blueprint for the pants and pantry. Um, and under the psychiatric blueprint, the first uh, topic I want to talk about is anxiety disorders. And the first topic under anxiety disorders is generalized anxiety disorder. Now, generalized anxiety disorder is characterized as a disorder that presents with excessive worrying and is hard to control, that sometimes causes impairment and significant distress and occurs on most of the days for at least six months. Other symptoms of generalized anxiety disorder include apprehension, increased fatigue, irritability, and muscle tension. Treatment modalities for generalized anxiety disorder include cognitive behavioral therapy and SSRIs. Generalized anxiety disorder is associated with increased rates of substance abuse, post-traumatic stress disorder, and uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. Genetic factors appear to uh, predispose patients with development of generalized anxiety disorder. Most patients with generalized anxiety disorder uh, present with symptoms other than worrying. Many complain of poor sleep, fatigue, uh, difficulty relaxing, and motor tension. Um, generalized anxiety disorder is, is uh, considered to be potentially a chronic illness, but may vary uh, from uh, in severity over time. The generalized anxiety disorder uh, um, seven inner scale is used to screen for generalized anxiety disorder in primary care. The DSM-5 criteria for generalizing uh, anxiety disorder includes the presence of the following excessive worrying and anxiety occurring most of the days for at least six months about number of events and uh, in activities. The patient finds it's difficult to control their worry. The anxiety and worry are associated with three of the following symptoms, which include restlessness uh, and feeling on being on edge, feeling of being easily fatigued, uh, difficulty concentrating, irritability, muscle tension, and sleep disturbance. The anxiety, worry, and physical uh, symptoms cause significant clinical uh, distress and impairment in social or occupational areas of functioning. The uh, disturbance is not attributable to physiological uh, effects of drugs or alcohol. The disturbance is not better explained by another medical disorder. First line medications for uh, generalized anxiety disorder include SSRIs and SNRIs. The SSRIs that have been shown to be effect effective include Paxil, Zoloft, Celexa, and Lexapro. The SNRIs, uh, such as Effexor and Sebalta, have been shown to also be effective. Second-line medications, such as trisoglycan antidepressants, benzodiazepines, and anticonvulsants, also have been used. Other um, uh, alternative medications have been include, include antipsychotic medications uh, and Adirax. The next thing I want to talk about is panic disorder. Panic disorder uh, and panic attacks are, um, are discrete episodes of intense worry that begins rapidly and lasts for several minutes to an hour. Patients with panic attacks usually present with somatic symptoms uh, such as chest pain and or shortness of breath. With uh, panic disorder, patients experience recurrent ex unexpected attacks in one month or more of either worrying about future attacks or significant maladaptive uh, change in behavior related to attacks. Somatic uh, features of, uh, of uh, panic attacks include chest pain, tachycardia, headaches, dizziness, faintness, pseudo-seizures, epigastric abdominal pain. Panic attack has also been shown to have a high prevalence among patients with bipolar disorder and alcohol abuse. Panic attack is defined by the DSM-5 as a disruptive surge of intense fear and intense discomfort that reaches a peak within minutes during uh, the time before more of the following symptoms occur, palpitations or accelerated heart rate, sweating, trembling or shaking, sen sensation or uh, of shortness of breath or smothering, and feeling like choking, chest pain or discomfort, nausea or abdominal distress, feeling of dizzy, uh, unsteady, uh, lightheaded or faint, chills or uh, heat sensations, paresthesias, derealization or depersonalization, the fear of losing control, fear of dying. Panic disorder is defined by the DSM-5 as uh, um, recurrent unexpected panic attacks. At least one attack is followed by a month or more of the following persistent worry about the attacks or consequences. Uh, a significant maladaptive change in behavior <clears throat> related to the attacks and the disturbance is not related to physiological uh, effects of a substance uh, or medical addition such as hypothyroidism or cardiopulmonary problems. And, and it's not better explained by a mental disorder. 
Differential diagnosis of panic disorder includes somatic uh, symptom uh, disorder, uh, illness, anxiety disorder, other mental disorders, stimulant use, and other general medical conditions. Several classes of medications have been uh, shown to be effective in panic disorder, include SSRIs, SNRIs, tricyclic antidepressants, monooxidase inhibitors, uh, and buttons of diazepines. SSRIs are generally preferred because they have a side effect profile and advanced reactions with overdosing. Benzodiazepines have abuse potential and physiological dependence and should be used on as needed basis initially in unstable or an SSRI. Psychotherapy may also be beneficial. The next thing I want to talk about is phobia. So phobia is an anxiety disorder characterized by clinically significant fear of a situation or object that leads to avoidance of a behavior. The five main specifiers of phobias, uh, according to the DSM-5, are based upon uh, the, the nature of the, the stimulus, and these include animals, uh, natural environment, such as height, storms, and water, blood injection, uh, such as injury needles or invasive procedures, situational uh, such as airplanes, elevators, or closed spaces, other situations that lead to choking or vomiting, loud sounds, or costume characters. Common uh, comorbidities of other anxiety disorders are mood disorders and alcohol dependence. Other development of specific phobia is the influence of a complex interaction of biological or psychological or social and environmental disorders. Differential diagnosis of phobias include agoraphobia, panic disorder, social anxiety disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, separation anxiety uh, disorder, in illness anxiety disorder, and other uh, eating disorders. The DSM-5 criteria for spe specific phobia are listed below, um, and these include a marked fear about a specific object or situation. The phobic object or situation always provokes immediate fear or anxiety. The phobic object or situation is actively over uh, avoided or endured with an immense fear of uh, anxiety. The fear of, anxi the fear of anxiety uh, is out of proportion to the da uh, actual danger um, proposed by the specific object. The fear of anxiety uh, or avoidance is typically lasting uh, six months or more. The fear caters specifically uh, uh, or cl clinically significant distress or uh, impairment of social, occupational, or other areas of functioning. The disturbance is not better explained by symptoms of another uh, mental disorder, including fear and anxiety avoidance of social situations. First line treatment of uh, of uh, for specific therapy is a cognitive behavioral therapy includes exposure uh, treatment. Pharmacotherapy such as benzodiazepines and SSRIs have a limited role in specific phobia, but can be used as an adjunct. The next thing I want to talk about is post-traumatic stress disorder. Post-traumatic stress disorder is a complex somatic cognitive affective and behavioral effect of a psychological trauma. PTSD is characterized uh, by intrusive thoughts, nightmares, and flashbacks of post-traumatic events and avoidance of reminders of the trauma, hypervigilance, and the sleep disturbance. Many different traumas result in PTSD. Common traumas such as military combat, violent uh, personal assault, um, natural and man-made disasters, severe car accidents, rape, incest, childhood sexual abuse, diagnosis of a life-threatening illness, severe physical injury, and hospitalization in an intensive care unit. Most patients uh, who experience uh, trauma react to a specific degree uh, when they experience rem reminders of the trauma. Most Patients uh, compensate with intense arousal by attempting to avoid experiences and illicit symptoms. The DSM-5 criteria for PTSD over the age of six are as follows. Exposure to uh, actual or threatened death, serious or sexual violence in one of the more following ways. Direct experience of the event witnessed in a person of the event as it occurred to others. Learning that the traumatic event occurred to those close family members or friends it must be a violent and accidental, or and accidental. Um, presence of the following uh, intrusion symptoms associated with the traumatic event: uh, 
beginning after the traumatic event occurred, recurring involuntary intrusive uh, memories of the traumatic event, re recurrent distressing dreams in which the content and or uh, effect of the dream are related to the traumatic event, dissociative reactions in the in which the individual feels and acts if the traumatic event was re uh, recurring, intense or prolonged psychosocial distress um, to exposure internal uh, or external cures that symbolize and resemble aspects of the traumatic event, marked psychological reactions to in internal or external cues symbolize that resemble uh, in it aspect of the traumatic events, persistent avoidance of stimuli associated with the traumatic event after uh, uh, the traumatic event occurred uh, by one or both of the following, avoidance of the efforts to avoid distressing memories, thoughts, uh, um, feeling about clear, closely associated with the tra traumatic event, avoidance of the efforts to avoid external reminders, harassable, distressful uh, memories and thoughts, and feelings about closely associated tra with the traumatic event. Negative al alterations of cognition and mood associated with traumatic event um, beginning with beginning or worsening after the traumatic event occurred, uh, evidenced by two of the following, inability to remember important aspects of the traumatic event, persistent or exaggerated negative benefits or expectation of oneself, uh, others, or, or the world, persistent distorted cognitions about the cause of consequences of traumatic events that lead the individual uh, to blame himself or herself others, Persistent negative or emotional state, uh, marked diminishing, diminished interest uh, or participation in significant activities, feeling of detachment and estrangement from others, persistent inability to experience positive emotions, marked alter, uh, alterations in arousal activity associated with the traumatic event beginning, worsening as the traumatic event occurred, as evidenced by two of the more of the following irritable behavior, angry outbursts. Um, expressed by verbal or physical aggression towards people or objects, reckless or self-destructive behavior, hypervigilance, uh, exaggerated startle response, uh, problems with concentration, sleep disturbance, duration of the disturbance is greater than one month. The disturbance causes clinical, severe distress or impairment of social, occupational, other areas of functioning. The disturbance is also uh, not attributed to a, a physical or, or sort of physiologic effects of a substance or another medical condition. Treatment of PTSD includes psychotherapy and, and pharmacotherapy. They often combine. They're, they're, they are often combined in refractory treatment. SSRIs are first line medications for PTSD. Tricyclic antidepressants, MAOIs, and antidepressants, atypical antidepressants, and atypical antipsychotics do not help uh, PTSD. Alpha adrenergic receptor blockers have been shown to reduce nightmares and improve sleep. Uh, benzodiazepines are used to, to treat symptoms of anxiety and increased arousal. Medications should be used uh, and continued for at least 6 to 12 months.